Isn't it time you realize that dancing is nothing more than a form of expression, a release? There's no need to be formal or cute about it. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dance scenes in rom coms. All right, everybody in the center. Get finished, come on. we're looking at every step, every beat and every groove that got you on your feet in your favourite rom-com. We won't be considering romantic dramas, so no Baby and Johnny having the time of their lives here. If we missed your favourite choreo, let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Benny and the Jets, 27 Dresses. Great song. I love this song. Hey kids! Hey, we're with Katherine Heigl on this one. Elton John totally said walrus sound. You're gonna hear it, hands, music, so the walrus sound. <clears throat> In this adorable rom com, Heigl plays Jane, a woman who has been a bridesmaid 27 times, and James Marsden plays her love interest Kevin, a cynic who doesn't believe in marriage. Match made in heaven, right? One night when the two get way too drunk, the classic Elton John tune, Benny and the Jets, comes on at the bar. In their drunken state, Kevin and Jane start to enthusiastically sing along, while getting pretty much all of the words wildly wrong. They end up dancing on the bar, screaming at the top of their lungs. Most choreographed of dances, but fun nonetheless. Number nine, the Rockefeller Skank. She's all that. All right, show me now. If you didn't do a perfectly choreographed dance to Fat Boy Slim at prom, did you even go to prom? Nineteen ninety nine's She's All That probably hasn't aged the best in terms of gender dynamics and toxic masculinity, but one thing it still does have going for it is this absolutely iconic flash mob slash dance off. Out of nowhere at prom, the characters begin dancing their tails off to the Rockefeller Skank, all in perfect unison. Shake it. There's high kicks, booty shaking, and even a dance off between the boys and girls, all emceed by Usher, of course. <laughs> Number eight, closing time. Friends with benefits. What am I gonna learn? Just hang on, baby. Here's a tip. If you want your love life to be like a movie, hire a flash mob. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can stay. Friends with Benefits is memorable for many reasons. Whether it be the great comedic chemistry between Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake, or the hilariously awkward sex scenes. But we honestly don't think it gets enough credit for having not one, but two great flash mob sequences. What is this? Closing time. And while the Times Square sequence is great, we've got to go with closing time at Grand Central Station. Listen, Jamie, I'm having trouble hearing you! I didn't really think this through. I mean, come on. Who hasn't dreamed of a flash mob love confession in the middle of New York? Number seven, you make my dreams come true. 500 Days of Summer. surface, 500 Days of Summer might seem like your typical romantic comedy, but it certainly has some sequences that set it apart, one being the post-coital dance sequence to Hall & Oates. After Tom has sex with Summer for the first time, he's so overjoyed at the notion that he starts grooving his way through the streets of New York. But he's not the only one. 
Passers by dance with him, giving him high fives and even lift him up into the air, shouting his praises. Heck, a marching band and a little animated bird even show up to join in on the fun. We get it. Who wouldn't want to have a Hall & Oates dance party after getting some? Number 6. Time After Time – Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion Only if Romy can dance with us. Sure. High school reunions can be tough. Comparisons abound and you're always bound to feel worse about yourself when it's over. Luckily for Romy and Michelle, they've got someone to face the music with, and an actual billionaire who has their back. When said billionaire, Sandy Frink, shows up to the reunion, things haven't been going so well for Romy and Michelle. But when Sandy confesses he's been in love with Michelle since high school, that changes. He asks Michelle for a dance and she agrees, but only if Romy can join in. If you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting. do a weird interpretive dance to time after time, and it's just as silly and strange as you could hope. Number 5. Bohemian Dance – Funny Face As a matter of fact, I rather feel like expressing myself now, and I could certainly use a release. When you're in a movie with dancing pro Fred Astaire, you've got to find a way to make yourself stand out, and Audrey Hepburn has never had a problem with that. As Jo, a young woman who inadvertently finds herself swept up in the modelling industry, Hepburn not only shows off her dancing shoes, but her comedic chops as well. Both of these qualities are ever present in this impromptu bohemian dance sequence. Dancing's nothing more than a form of expression, she says, leaping up from her seat and expressing herself with high kicks, exaggerated faces and jazz hands. And what an expression it is. Number 4. Basketball Dance Scene – Trainwreck Amy? We've got to give Amy Schumer her due for this one. This dance looks hard, and Amy hangs right in there with the best of them. In Trainwreck, Schumer's character, also named Amy, decides to get her life together after meeting Aaron, a guy she finally thinks is worth it. Unfortunately for her, she messes things up a bit before she realises he might be the one. In one last desperate attempt to get Aaron back, she performs a dance with Nick's City Dancers to impress him. When Aaron's favourite song Uptown Girl plays, the look on Aaron's face says it all. She's won him over. Number 3. So Close – Enchanted for a movie with so many elaborate dance sequences, you might think this one is a bit of a left field choice. We could have gone with That's How You Know or even the gorgeously animated True Love's Kiss. But when you watch Giselle and Robert dance at the ball to So Close, you can't help but get a little teary eyed. All that I By the time this scene rolls around in 2007's Enchanted, Robert and Giselle have realised they have feelings for each other, but are both in other relationships. When they 
dance to this song, there's so much yearning and love that's palpable between them. Even if this isn't the most extravagant dance, it's the most beautiful. Number 2. Born to Hand Jive Greece. Okay, we have to admit, we had a lot to choose from for this one. Greece is chock full of incredibly choreographed and gorgeously filmed dance sequences, but to this day, Born to Hand Jive stands out from the rest. the school dance, the students all compete in the hand jive contest. As the camera pans around, it's a delight to see not only how talented all the cast members are, but how they're easily able to incorporate their characters into their dance moves. As the song goes on, things get wilder and wilder, with splits, lifts and leaps galore. Seriously, have you ever seen a school dance contest look that impressive? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Isn't It Romantic? The song that brings everyone together. I Want To Dance With Somebody, again, Love Simon. It's Simon's coming out song. Jump for my love, love actually. Who knew the prime minister had moves? Post credit scene, New Year's Eve. We love a holiday dance party. We will never be, never be anything but love and nitty gritty. Two to tango, the wedding planner. It takes two to tango indeed. You think you can double talk your way out of this? Throw me off your scent? But I smell you. I smell like sweet bread plums and grilled cheese sandwiches. What? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Thriller, 13 going on 30. you can keep yourself from smiling while watching Jennifer Garner have an absolute ball out on the dance floor in 13 Going On 30, do you even have a soul? Okay, here we go. When 13-year-old Jenna Rink makes a wish that propels her into the future, she tries to navigate her newly 30-year-old body and the world that comes with it. things usually don't go too well, Jenna's 13-year-old sensibilities come in handy when it comes to livening up a boring office party. In perfect 80s kid fashion, she starts a dance party to Michael Jackson's Thriller, pulling everyone out on the dance floor with her and reeling them in with her infectious attitude. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.